your summer or maybe those mornings when you're just in a hurry and don't have a lot of time. I timed myself yesterday doing it and it took me like right at five minutes. So it's super quick, super easy, not a whole lot of products and something that you can just um, throw on really quick to pull yourself together and look presentable when you're leaving the house. I do this probably four out of seven days a week. Um, so it's just super quick, easy, natural, fresh. And um, if you wanna see how to do it, just keep on watching. So to start this off, the first thing that I'm doing is going in with just about three-fourths of a pump of our Color Correcting Tinted Moisturizer in Medium, and I'm just using my fingers to blend this in really quickly, getting underneath my eyes, into my neck, and then I'm using a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, and I'm using this to kind of dab it in areas that I felt like needed either a little bit more coverage or a little more blending. This is our Candlelight Shadow Sense, and I'm using this for an under eye concealer to conceal my dark circles. I love how this blends out just using a real fluffy brush and then I'm also going to apply you can see just one little dab onto my eyelids to correct any discoloration there and also use as a base this is our corrective color concealer in white and I mixed it equal parts with the same tinted moisturizer from before just to highlight my face that gives it a nice lighter tint and um, it keeps it in the same color family so I'm just applying that in a triangle shape under my eyes forehead chin and bridge of my nose. This is our Mocha Java Shadow Sense and I'm using it for several things. The first thing I'm doing is just using an angled brush, dabbing it on the applicator wand and filling in my brows. And then I just like to brush them out to make sure they're all going the same direction. Now you can see I just stuck two little dots in the hollows of my cheeks and I'm using a Real Technique sculpting brush to blend that out a little bit. It goes such a long way so you don't need a lot. I'm using the same brush to just apply um, to my hairline, my jawbone, and then um, into my neck a little bit to make sure I look nice and natural. I switched to a smaller brush, still using the Mocha Java Shadow Sense and have not put the applicator wand back into the tube yet. So I put it down the bridge of my nose, under my lips, and then into the crease of my eye to add some dimension. Went back to my candlelight shadow scents for a little bit of concealer and now I've moved on to blush scents. So I mixed equal parts toasted rose blush scents and our pearlizer make sense foundation. I'm blending them together and just using them for some color on the apples of my cheeks and that was a Real Techniques stippling brush. Now I'm going in with straight pearlizer. That was about half of a pump. And I'm using a fan brush to apply this as a highlighter to the tops of my cheekbones. And then I'm also, just for time's sake, gonna use that same brush and using the center of it to apply a little bit to my cupid's bow. And then I turned it vertical to go down the bridge of my nose to just give a nice glow um, for that springy summertime look. I like to take a makeup brush just to make sure that I don't have any blobs anywhere and that it looks super natural. So that's just a makeup sponge to blend it out. Now I still haven't got any more and I'm using my ring finger to apply it to the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone to just make sure my eyes look nice and open, fresh and awake. This is our translucent loose powder and natural and I'm just using it to make sure I'm nice and blended and set for the day. Curling my eyelashes, getting them prepped for our black Lash Sense Mascara. This waterproof mascara is amazing. It really doesn't flake off all day, and I love how one coat just darkens my lashes and makes them look um, still natural, but also, you know, put together and a little bit darker than my natural color. I used our Foops remover to fix a boo-boo there, and then I turned my Q-tip over and put some water on it to clean my lips for our lip scents. So I'm using apple cider lip scents today, shaking up the tube, and then applying three thin, even layers. And I'm making sure not to swipe back and forth. I'm giving plenty of dry time and also keeping my lips nice and tight in between each layer to make sure that that lip scent doesn't settle into the cracks of my lips throughout the day because it is such a light color. This is one of my favorite tricks. I love applying glossy gloss in a very thin layer. You can see that I wiped the applicator one and then I just put it on to make sure that my color is sealed in and that my lips are hydrated. And then I'm going in with our matte gloss and topping it to give a matte finish because I feel like it just looks a little bit more natural than the glossy. So there is a the finished look, y'all. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you like it for spring and summer and that it is helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to follow me at Razzle Dazzle Lips.